To me, British Airways is the airline of contrast. It's the only airline to have carried the royal family around the world, but it's also an airline that receives negative feedback on a constant basis. So how is it that an airline that was once the pride of our nation fall all the way down in the pecking order? You see, British Airways is no longer British Airways. It doesn't exist anymore, and it hasn't existed for many years now. Its destiny is actually controlled by its parent company, IAG. Now, IAG is a colossal company with seven airlines to take care of. And although the prospect of merging does bring its benefits, we can safely say that the tiger that was once British Airways has been tamed into a little puppy. Now, they can't make decisions of their own, and they can't order their own aircraft. And if the airline does want new aircraft, then the order has to essentially be placed by the big boss, who will decide which airline will receive the new planes and when they shall be delivered. Now if that wasn't bad enough, British Airways doesn't actually own their own planes. Let's say for example IAG saw a demand in one of their other airlines, let's say Aer Lingus, and they needed an A320. Well, within 2 or 3 weeks, that plane could be in the fleet of another airline. Now, IAG claims that this saves at least £2 million by shuffling planes around and trying to determine the demand. But the truth is, is that every single purchasing decision is now overseen by IAG. They've also placed huge amounts of pressure on the airline to achieve good return on their investment. And if the airline doesn't achieve the targets set by the parent company, then the airline could face removal of aircraft from its fleet and also a reduction in funding. But what's worse is the performance of the airline in the past 10 years or so. Now studies have shown that they've crippled under the pressure from low-cost airlines like Ryanair and EasyJet, and also international airlines like the Gulf Carriers. Now many people who have travelled with them have said that the scene configuration has become extremely tight with an average service. Also the uncompetitive ticket pricing and making customers pay for food on certain routes doesn't really help with the image of the airline that was once luxury travel. But you know what the scary thing is? They're not losing money. Last year they made a record profit of $1.4 billion. Now that's a colossal amount of money. But ever since the markets collapsed in 2008, they've executed tremendous amounts of cuts without investments in other departments. But there are areas where BA is doing good in, like with their network. They currently have 183 destinations around the world, and when you put in the grand scheme of things, that's huge. I mean, that's more than the Gulf and the European carriers. Also, last year they took delivery of 12 new long haul aircraft, including the Dreamliners, the 777 300 ERs, and placed orders for 18 A350 1000s. They've opened new lounges in Boston, Gatwick, and JFK, and if that wasn't enough, they're also investing in their Club World program and implementing Wi-Fi on many long-haul and short-haul aircraft. So why is the airline offering mediocre service and always getting a bad image? Well, after 9-11 and the financial crisis, British Airways has been in a position of weakness and has had to fight with deep capacity cuts. And although IAG may seem like a monster, they've actually implemented a good plan to make sure all of their airlines are in a good position to operate profitably. Usually airlines make money in good years and use up all of that money when a bad year comes. But British Airways is clever, and also IAG is clever. They're slowly implementing changes in areas which have deficiencies. I mean sure there are some areas that are not what they should be, but they're making good steps forward. And if there ever comes a situation where the market takes a downturn, then IAG will be in a position of strength and will be able to make long-term investments in a disciplined manner to help grow their airline.